guys, what's up? So this video is going to be my favorites, and it's not necessarily like favorites of March or anything, it's just favorites as of, I guess, this year, since I haven't done a favorites video this year, I don't think, maybe I have, but um, I don't have that many products, but um, I have some cool stuff. So let me just go ahead and get started with it. First off, I'm going to start with this, this Naked 3 palette. I love this palette. If y'all know by now, pink is my favorite color. So it has like some nice nudish pinkish shades. So you can really go like, you know, like a nice nude, neutral pink color, which I like. Because I don't really do like, you know, intense colors or anything like that. I like nude colors. So love this palette. The next up I have is this Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator. And you can get this at like Kroger or whatever. Um... Walmart and uh, all the drugstore locations that, that's close to you but um, I really like it because it, it just gives you like this really soft glow I usually use this like underneath my foundation or just like just this at, at, alone like I just do you know do my primer moisturize all that kind of stuff and I just use this alone sometimes but I like it a lot let me kind of I don't know if you probably won't be able to see the glow through the camera but um, I'll just kind of like rub it in and show y'all what I'm talking about. So that's it like on the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it just gives you like a nice warm, warm, warm glow to your skin. And it's like really smooth finish. And I think it's also kind of moisturizing, but I don't know. I might be wrong. It feels moisturizing to me. Um, next up is my BB cream. And this is the Mon uh, BB cream. And I'm in... The shade Earth Medium, and I like this BB cream a lot. I this I usually wear this to work most of the time. Um, if I just want to, you know, put something on my face, I'll put this on. And I like it because it's in my to my in my opinion, it's kind of moisturizing to my skin. Um, it's not like heavy heavy coverage, but it's like just enough coverage. So I like that. And um, yeah, it has SPF in it, so that's always good. And I know they have diff a lot of, not a lot, but I think they have like, I can't remember how many shades they have, but I mean, for women of color or dark skin girls, I think you'll be fine with Earth Medium. I think there's one or two darker than this, so try it out. I bought this in Target, so I don't know where else. I think Ulta might sell them, but I got this one in Target, so another one of my favorites. Um, Okay, last, not last, but last, I guess, foundation-esque type thing is this Loria Mercier, um, Loria Mercier, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like the translucent powder, uh, it's a loose setting powder, and I like it because, like, it doesn't make you, doesn't make you look, like, too ashy, although if you put a lot, you come up looking ashy, so you have to be careful, but, um, this is kind of what it looks like, it, it looks like banana powder, as far as the shade goes, let me actually do a comparison so you can see the difference, um, of the shades, is that banana powder, Right here is banana powder, and right here is the Laura Mercier. Okay, the Laura Mercier is a lot finer, like, the grains are a lot um, thinner, not thinner, like, a lot smaller, I think, in my opinion. And um, as far as color-wise, the Laura Mercier is a little bit lighter, not that much lighter, just a little bit, than the banana powder, but um, I, I like both of them, honestly. But the Laura Mercier, in my opinion, is a little bit finer, and um, it kind of, I think they both have the same, like, lasting power as far as setting your concealer, but the Laura Mercier, um, I think it just, oof, it's a little smoother, you know, on, on the face than the banana powder, so, just my OP. Okay, next up on what I have is these um, beauty blenders, so, let me just start off by, I didn't even pull them out but let me just start off by saying like I have bought literally almost every dupe of the beauty blender just because I was like I'm about to, I'm about to spend twenty dollars on a sponge type of stuff and when you add it all up <laughs> of all the beauty blenders I've tried probably way over the twenty dollars so I was like I'm stupid let me just get the actual thing um first not up here and like see what the hype is about and whatnot and let me just tell you like if every dupe I've ever got, like, nothing has, nothing was like this, like, at all. I think I actually threw most of my dupes away 
Um, I should know. I can see two of them right here. These are two ones that I have. They're dirty, but one of them is like rug straw. The other one is a Sephora one. But anyways, uh, this, there's nothing like this. Like I haven't seen any dupe that has come close to this beauty blender. Every dupe that I've caught, it, it's not, it's not as spongy. It's not as soft. Um, it's just not. That's just not it. Like this is the real thing, and I think. There's a reason why it's expensive. It's because it's really good. So if I were you, I'm pretty sure all of you, some of most of y'all out there watching this video, y'all probably have like a million and one like beauty blender dupes. Just go ahead and get the real thing. I actually have I have two. This one I got on a glossy box subscription, which is really nice. It came with like the cleaner and everything, so that was good. But um, I bought this one and I love this thing. I was using this like alone i didn't even use any um foundation brushes or anything for at least a month or so when i was using my um kevin Aquan because it's perfect for like cream foundation cream concealers anything really it's just really awesome definitely definitely one of my favorites for this year so far um moving on actually it's another foundation <laughs> but um i don't I think I think this was one of my favorites before, but I absolutely love, absolutely, absolutely love this foundation. And it is the um, the Tante Touche Eclat um, Yves Saint Laurent foundation. And um, I think I had made a video on this um, earlier on. And I think if you watch that video, I mentioned that I got the wrong shade. I actually got this shade, um, the B... B90, yeah, the B90, which was, like, way too dark for me, so I got the B80, like, recently. I decided to just go ahead and bite the bullet and get it, um, and, like, oh my god, it's so amazing. Like, it just made me fall in love with this foundation all over again, because, like, this is my perfect shade, and it just, like, gives you this really nice, natural-looking coverage. It doesn't look like you have, like, a caked on makeup, or doesn't even look like you have much makeup at all. It just gives you this skin-like finish. Um, so, yeah, I use this as, a like, the like a contour now to, like, contour my, you know, right here, my, my nose and whatnot. So, I use this as a contour, and I use this as my foundation. So, I usually use both of them together, but if not... I just use this all over my face and then sometimes I set it with my powder and this sets it perfectly the MAC mineralized skin finish, the MAC mineralized skin finish and deep dark just they just go perfect together and I absolutely love it so um, if you're looking for a foundation that you haven't tried yet definitely try out this one the YSL the Tent Twitcher Cloud my advice is make sure you get your correct shade because you're gonna kill yourself if your shade is wrong looks like I did but anyways um moving on is a perfume and it's the Anna Sui or Anna Sue um, La Vie de Boheme. I can't pronounce anything, sorry, but this is the container that it came in. I bought this in Sephora. I absolutely love this. I hate when people smell stuff on camera, like we can smell it, but I just wanted to smell it because it smells so good. Mm. But yeah, um, <laughs> I got this not too long ago. I'm not going to lie and try to explain what it smells like. All I'm going to say is it smells really good. And go to, if you're in Sephora, just like look up, look up the box or look up this, um, the tester for it and try it out. And let me know if you like it. But right now, this is my favorite scent right now. So yeah. Um, again, let me move along. Next thing on here that I have are these, um, Bath Tones by Carl. I have two of them. I actually purchased this um, earlier this year. And I have the Raspberry Cream whipped, buddy, whooped, whipped Body Custard and the Cake Batter Whipped Body Custard. And oh my god, these things smell so good. And it's pretty much just shea butter um, and um, in like a whipped form. But it, obviously it has like you know the the scent to it but like I was kind of worried because you know fragrance and stuff isn't really good for your skin and like it can make you break out and all that kind of stuff but this does not do any of that I'm sure it have it's probably a very very light um concentration that they put in it or something but it does not you know break me out and I do kind of have sensitive skin so it doesn't break me out it doesn't do anything and it leaves my skin very moisturized and I just absolutely love it and the funny thing is he actually reached out to me um I found out about this through YouTube or like Facebook or something. I was like, oh, let me try that. 
Um, and then, like, literally, I think, like, a couple weeks, like, two weeks ago, way after I bought this, I actually finished this one. If you can see, this one's, like, empty. This, that's the raspberry cream, and I'm currently... Pick up! This dog is just scratching me. Come here, Chief. Sorry. Um, say hey. Hey! Look how big he is. <sighs> okay. Um... And then, yeah, I'm currently working on this one. But anyways, like two weeks ago, he reached out to me. It was like, oh, would you like to do a review for these, um, for my products? And I was like, um, I already got your products. Like, I already bought it a while ago, and I absolutely love them. And he was like, oh, that's great. Um, um, so if you want to, you know, I told, and I told him I was going to, I planned on putting it on my favorites because it is one of my favorites so far for the year. And he said, okay, great. Um, I'll give you a coupon code that you can give your subscribers if they want to purchase it. So, um, the coupon go code, I'll put a link, I'll put the code down below, but it's Talani20, I believe. Yeah, it's Talani20. And, um... When you go on the site, which I'll put down below, just when you're about to purchase your item, just uh, put down that code and I think you'll get a discount. I don't know how much the discount is. Oh, 20%. Yeah, you get 20% off with that. I wish I had that discount when I bought mine. Shoot. But um, anyways, I, mean, I, I can't remember the price, but I know it was very affordable. And IBK loves this one, the cake batter. It smells so good. Also, like literally, every time I put this on, I have to fight. That's probably why he came over here, because he can smell it. But yeah, I have to fight my dog. I have to fight him off of me because he's always trying to eat like or lick lick me or something because it smells so good like I don't know how to explain it but yeah that's probably why he was fighting me just now actually now that I think about it all right let's move on so the next thing I have oh I forgot to mention this brush and this is a Sephora um, brush and it is a face blender and the number is 134 I'm sure you all have seen this around on YouTube I know it's a lot of people's favorite I decided to just go ahead and buy it. I had like a discount or a, or a gift card or something. So I purchased this and I absolutely love it. I use it for I use it for contouring. I use it for blending. I use it for pretty much anything. I love the shape of it. It's very dense so it really blends out uh, your foundation or your makeup. Especially if you're using the cream to contour. It's perfect for it. So yeah. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Okay, another thing, it's a, it's a skincare product, and it is the Ole Henriksen line, and it's like their vitamin C line, I guess. And, well, I think most of this stuff have vitamin C, but, um, this is what it looks like. I have all, like, literally, I've used it all up. Like, this one is empty, this one is empty, and then this is the, this is the night cream, like, you're supposed to put it under your eyes. This one's almost empty, but, um... Yeah, it's a Total Truth Eye Cream, SPF 15, and I love it. This is the um, Total Serum Collagen Booster Potent Vitamin C Complex. So you put this in, on in the morning, and um, this one is um, just like the like the face lotion that has you know vitamin C in it. So you put this one on in the morning and night. So this is like twice a day. This is once a day in the morning, and then this one is at night. So I use this literally probably February. And most of March, I think I got it in January, so some of January, and it's finished now. But um, I really liked it. Like, I think it like helped like clear off like dark dark marks, and it just brightens up your skin, and it leaves your face feeling really moisturized, which is something that I like really need because I have dry skin. So yeah, love that. Um, I think that about wraps it up. The last thing I want to mention before I go is another favorite of mine actually no i think i have a couple more favorites that are not really products but you'll see um this is another one of my favorites and it is a, it's just like a app a uh, game that you can download on your phone and it's the aisle a lot of nigerians out there i'm sure you already know about this game but let me show you let me just show you how it like it runs um this is i think it's I think they, the American name for this game is like Sudoku or something like that. I can't remember. If you know the name, hit it down below. But this is what it looks like. And like, let's see me. Let me just go ahead and start playing. You click on, you know, it goes on, it goes on until it stops. Just like you know, the normal IR game goes. And what's cool about this, that besides the fact that it's in an app form, is that you can play with other friends. 
you can play with like a random player. Um, you can play other player. Or like right now, I'm playing against the computer, so it's pretty cool. And um, I actually got this game like a long time ago. I just always forgot to like mention it in my favorites. But um, yeah, let me shut that off. But yeah, this is what it looks like in the App Store. If you have a Droid, this is what it looks like in the App Store. It's just called IO, and the the developer is Tay Tonic Inc. And um, here's a Facebook page and stuff. I think I'll link that. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, just check it out. It's free, so just check it out. Especially if you been, if you played it when you're younger, just check it out. It's pretty fun. I was like addicted to it for like a good week or two. So yeah, that's pretty fun. And um, I think that's all product wise. And then last, I want to talk about music because I have just been on music like these past couple weeks. Like honestly, I haven't really been living. Uh, I haven't really been listening to Nigerian music. Um, even IBK, like, we kind of go, like, off and on, like, we'll listen to Nigerian music, like, for, like, ever, and then we'll, like, take a break, like, kind of not getting tired, but just, like, you know, you just want to hear something different, and, like, start listening to other things. So, right now, we, like, honestly, we can't, I don't even think we could come up with the, with the favorites right now, at least not this month, maybe next month, because we really haven't just been listening to Nigerian music like that. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to, like, a lot of R&B stuff. And R&B is, like, my second favorite genre, and then reggae, and then, um, old school, like, uh, doo-wop music, but anyways, um, so my favorite, like, artists right now is, are, um, Je Janae Aiko, do you know the one that sings the worst? Oh my god, I just, I love her, like, I literally downloaded every song that she has ever made, and it's on my phone, and I've been listening to her like crazy. Another artist that I really like is, um... What's his name? Party Next Door, right? I think that's his name. Party Next Door. Oh, Lord. Let me actually just play some of the stuff that I'm talking about so that y'all can hear this goodness. Like, I think he's on... I think they're both maybe on Drake's um, label, like OVO, OVO. But I'm not, I'm not sure. I could be very, very wrong. But, like, they're just so good. Okay, let me play... TBH. This is one of my favorite songs by Party Next Door. Hope I don't get flagged for this video, but yeah. I'll just play it for you. And this is Party Next Door. It's called TBH, and it's the bomb. Settle down, settle down, settle down. It's all over your face. There's someone taking my eye. Play. <laughs> I love this song. Okay. Before I get flagged, let me just stop this one. Let me play like a Janae Aiko song. And this is one of my favorite ones from her. And it's called um, Comfort In. I want to show if this is the right one. Ugh. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, yeah. It's called Comfort In. This is how it sounds. Yeah, so those are my two favorite artists of, of the moment. Some of the other people I've been listening to is, um, I don't know how to say her name, but it's S-Z-A, I think it's Siza. And um, there's this one song that she has called Babylon. That one's really good, so check it out. I'll put their, these like people down below so you can check them out if you're like you know into R&B and stuff like that. Um, another artist that I really like, Somo, he's actually here on YouTube. I think he started, yeah, he started on YouTube, and I've been, like, his subscriber. I watch all his videos, and he does, like, covers of songs, but tell me why the other day I was driving, and I'm in Houston, right? 979 The Box, they were playing a song, I was like, wait, ain't that Somo? Like, it's a lot like Somo. So when I got home, I, like, typed in the name of the song. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, when I got home, I typed in the name of the song, and I was like, what? It was almost so like, he's making it pretty big out now. He has a video for the song and everything, and it's just really, really nice. Um, I think the song is called uh, Ride, or I'm Going Ride, I'm Going Ride. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so I like him a lot. Um, 
he does like covers and stuff. I, I like his covers, like, most of all. Um, another artist is uh, Alexis Jordan. She has this one song called Gone that I really like. And, yeah, that's about, that's about it. But, um, just wanted to go on that tangent. That concludes my favorites, y'all. Um, thank you so much for watching. I know I haven't made a video in a minute, but there are reasons. I've been kind of really busy and traveling and stuff for work, so that's why. But, um... If you have any video requests or anything like that, put them down below. I'm thinking of new ideas and things that I can do um, that are kind of like, you know, more original and things like that. So, um, let me know what you want to see. That would be really, really helpful. And I'm not just saying it just to say it. Like, I really want y'all to let me know. Because <laughs> I'm just asking and nobody says anything. So, let me know. Um, and uh, thank you again for watching. I'll see y'all later. Have a good day. Bye.